Hey y'all, what's up? Now to be back again with yet another video and today I completely forgot <laughs> that a bunch of things coming in the uh, the mail today. So I'm gonna do some really quick unboxings of these. I have I have some uh, some homework and studying that I'm trying to uh, to get through today. But I did want to take a little bit of a break and uh, and unbox some of these things that I have. I'll be making multiple videos for these, so you're not gonna have to sit through uh, a bunch of um, unboxings for things you don't care about. The first thing we're going to be unboxing is this enhanced wireless controller. Now, I, for most of you guys, uh, you already know I already have a controller. However, I recently switched to a desktop, and that desktop computer does not have uh, Bluetooth. So I'm going to be getting this uh, enhanced wired controller here. Uh, so it's got like my whole buttons it says it supports like headsets there's like a port at the bottom i believe uh let's see here's, here's what the side looks like here and then uh you've got like some some little like feature things here so you can like see like what the features are i guess uh one of them it doesn't it doesn't say that it works that's not one of the features but uh, <laughs> i'm just not quite sure that it works um i don't know if you guys could read that it looked like it was having trouble focusing uh i don't know Anyways, this is the back. That's what the uh, the back looks like here. You can read everything. Pause if you like. And then the bottom. There you go. Now let's see. I do wish there was a way. Now they've got all this tape on the top and stuff, which makes it hard to open without any sort of. Uh, actually, you know what? I do have some scissors. Now I think about it. Um, I completely forgot that I have scissors. Uh, all right, let's see here. And when I do these unboxings, you guys probably know, I've probably mentioned this already, but I try to unbox these as cleanly as possible. Um, try to get as close to unboxing it the way like it's supposed to be un unboxed uh, as possible. So that's why you don't see me tearing this open like it's a Christmas present. Um, I, I try and look for the cleanest, easiest, and probably the most OEM, uh, um, I guess, approved way of opening these things. Uh, let's see. Now, I, I think this is a terrible way to make your products uh, be opened. To have to, like, cut into your product. I mean, maybe it's just me and not my style. But I just don't think that it's a good way to... Uh, to go about it. But that's just me. And granted, this is a very cheap product as well. So, you know, it, 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 from, from what I've seen, these, this seems to be a quality product. So if they have to skimp on, you know, making really nice packaging, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain that much. It'll be interesting moving to this from an official Xbox controller, which is what I currently have, but again, haven't been able to use because it doesn't really work well through USB for some reason. And Again, my computer does not have uh, Bluetooth at the moment. Uh, this is kind of a struggle to get open. Now, part of it might just be my um, slightly long fingernail length. That might be part of it, too. All right. So here we go. Once... Oh, goodness. You have to get all the tape off. Okay. Hold on. I was not expecting this to take this long uh let's see come on now it's gotta get opened yeah and see this is like one reason why i don't like tearing my boxes all up uh but i'm kind of i'm not even tearing it that much but i'm, I'm tearing the box more than i would like to here so you know i i, I think it's cool if you're able to keep the box in one piece. Not that it particularly matters. This box is something we're going to throw away, but it's it's still nice. All right, because it also gives you the assurance that you're opening opening it correctly. There's that as well. So you open it like this, and there is well, you know, there's stuff inside. We have instructions because I'm sure these things are very hard to use. These are the instructions here. I guess you guys can pause and read. It's in 4K, so maybe you'll be able to read everything here. And some legal stuff. I'm surprised that it says that the, um, I don't know if you guys can see, but the trademark is 2021. 
which I'm a little bit surprised by, unless, of course, it's just old, you know? I don't know why they would need to change the trademark every year. But I feel like typically they do, even if it's just, like, on the paper. Because sometimes I, like, if I want to, like, guess, like, when something was made, I look at the trademark. Let's see here. Ooh, very nice. Now, this has, like, this nice plastic padding, which is very cool. And this is, like, very nice. This feels like an official controller like the only thing is maybe the toggles feel a little bit plasticky but not even that plasticky um also these do feel a little bit different there's not a lot of uh, heft to them so they're easier to press and they sound a little bit cheap but they don't feel bad regardless of how they sound and uh this and this gold thing is a nice touch here. I was hoping to try and find a gold controller, but I couldn't find one that was actually gold. Now, this has more than just the uh, controller in there. It has this insanely long charging cable. Now, I'm not going to be one of those tech YouTubers who complains like, Oh, it's micro USB. It's not USB-C. Now, I mean, yes, it would be nicer if this thing was USB-C. But um, at the end of the day, I'm not going to be like trying to use it to charge my phone. It's still the standard for peripherals to use micro USB. Um, you know, the difference if it's like a major phone that's using micro USB, then I think that's a problem. But this is ridiculously long. I don't think it needs to be this long. I'm not going to complain, but it's not going to make my uh, my cable management look any sexier. So there's that. And I guess I didn't notice. I didn't mention this has like some of those like programmable buttons on the bottom. So I guess, I don't know if these are the same ones as the Elite controller buttons, but uh, it's kind of a nice touch. And I think the last thing to note here is that uh, this is, I guess, for the uh, audio, the aux import that's right here. So if you, I don't know if you guys can see, but above this thing here, there's like a little microphone icon. And then I think to the, to this side here, there's like a minus little icon and, and here's a plus icon this means that when you press it down it'll mute and unmute the sound i think and then you move it here and it'll turn the volume down and move it here and turns the volume up so that's a rather nice touch but um yeah that's pretty much all i have i think that's pretty much all there is to say about this it's not a full review i'm just unboxing it so uh let me know what you guys think uh, in the comments below and um i will see you all later if you want me to <laughs> all right let's end this